Well, nothing looks to be damaged. Of course, the chip tray is going to be loose, and you've got your manual. Let's take a little closer look here. Now, even though it was listed as a TS-210, I think you can clearly see that MX-2V or 210V does at least look like the bore is as big as they said it was Looks like it's securely bolted to the bottom of the box, so I'm going to have to pause it here for a second and get it taken out. Be right back. Well, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with how it was packaged, especially after seeing the FedEx guy literally roll it out of his truck. Nothing appears damaged, but I think I'm going to leave it here on this the bottom pallet or bottom uh, piece of wood for now. I'm still working on a project on my Harbor Freight mini lathe, so until I get that finished I can't get that lathe off the bench and put this one up there. But let me give you a little quick walk around of it. I'm sure the handles are going to be in the box that I haven't opened yet. Half nut lever. Cheap tool post. A little overspray. I hate them kind of buttons. Full reverse. Greasy as hell. Let's see if it works, huh? Got it. Re forward gear right now. Man, does that sound a little rough. And then that high pitch whine. The whistle. Engage the half nut. That moves. Try reverse. Oh. Digital readout is showing about 1300 RPMs, 1338 right now. Who knows if that's true? I assume it's still in low gear as well. because I have it uh, bolted down on the on this piece of wood that it came on I'm not on something solid but heck I even thought that it would shut off with that open and then I pulled the rear cover off thinking that it would have a safety switch on there as well but it doesn't so let me get you around to the back so you can see the gears well, here's a quick look at the gear setup and as you can see, this thing is just covered in oil from head to toe. Belts feel pretty tight. Well, I don't know if you can see right there. That one's definitely not matched up as good as it could be. 
But like any Chinese lathe, the first thing you really got to do is just tear it apart, clean it up, put it back together, and hope to get rid of whatever this damn noise is. Even me trying to brace it against the, the crate that it come on, it's still vibrating like crazy. Anyways, to keep me informed of what I'm going to do with it. More than likely, like I said, I will take it apart. Let me shut this off. We'll take it all apart, clean everything up, check everything out, grease everything that needs to be greased. Maybe even first step of replacing the spindle bearings. See if they're tapered or if they're uh, regular rollers, but we'll see. Oh, uh, let me open up the little box. Empty piece of styrofoam. A little toolbox. Broken little toolbox. Cheap oiler. Change gears. 8 to 10 wrench. Flight head screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver. Another change gear. Another change gear. Missing handles. Set screw for possibly missing handles. Another change gear. Couple nuts, couple empty pieces of plastic. Oh, another set screw, probably for the handles. 13 by 16 wrench, 12 by 14 wrench, dead center. Some Allen keys. That would be for that handle. Another nut. Another Allen key. Oh, there's the other handle. Nope. And the rest of the broken pieces of the box. Trash that one. Extra set of jaws, three bolts to attach it to the spindle, directions, T-handle, and a three jaw chuck. Tie pan sticker on it. We wanted to see what the back of one looked like. I don't think I've ever seen one that didn't have a cover. Well, I'd definitely get torn apart and cleaned as well. All right. Well, next time, uh, hopefully I can get this uh, project done on my mini lathe and I can get this mounted up and start tearing it apart. Thanks for watching.